Now, the reason why I want to make a video talking about the Silver the Hedgehog fan base is that, um, as a Silver fan of myself, obviously at this point, I, um, have seen some interesting things coming from his fandom. So, as any Sonic fan possibly know at this point, Silver wasn't exactly the most popular or likable character in his first debut, which was Sonic 06. For many reasons, such as, Oh, Sega, why are you making another new Sonic character? We already got enough of them. Why does he look like a pot leaf or a peacock head? Why does he have an annoying voice? Why is he another hedgehog? You get the point. And as I have been a Sue fangirl for over 10 years, can you believe it? I've always hated it! I don't understand why Sue was so hated back then! Even if you kind of felt literally the only Sue fangirl out there, that's so underrated Sue really was back then! But luckily, it wasn't like this permanently and turned out for the better! Silver very slowly, but very safely as well, gained more fans and even freaking fangirls as years went by. Now I consider Silver as one of the most popular Sonic characters. Maybe even consider the second most popular character after Shadow. They'll just make a character, expect the fans to like them, then the fans don't like them because their story and gameplay was handled poorly, and if all else fails, then they'll just make them a background character or forget them altogether. After Sonic 06, then they was like, yeah, you know what, let's just forget about that one character. What was his name? Gold the Mink? Okay, I'm gonna already stop him right here. So, according to the guy, the reason Silver is a quote-unquote forgettable character or barely used in the games nowadays is because the fans didn't like his debut in Sonic 06 and the gameplay and the story were poorly done? Therefore, he's just a background character? What? So, by that logic, literally any character who is barely used anymore had a bad debut and that's why they're background characters? You know, characters like Shadow and Blaze who happen to have a very likable and well-received debut Sonic games. To the point that that's the main reason Shadow is still around and even had his own game. And that is also why Blaze has two Sonic games where it takes place in her dimension. And she gets less attention than Silver from Sega. I'm just saying. I mean, she didn't even manage to be in Sonic Forces, which was a complete wasted opportunity because I bet you could have a major role in the game. So my point is, that argument is incredibly invalid. If Sega are known for making a character appear in one or two games and then they just vanish or are just background characters, where did you get the idea that it was from the fact that they're not likable enough? Or the debut was so bad to the point fans hate them? Whoever said that they hated Shadow or Blaze in the first appearance and they don't want to see them again? It's actually quite the opposite! Fans want to see more from them, including myself! Although Silver was the victim for being very hated in a couple of years, but... He's very likable now, so there's no way he gets barely attention from SEGA, that is, because he's not likable enough, or he had a bad debut. What I'm saying is, these characters should have their own games. For example, Silver the Hedgehog. He's a 14-year-old hedgehog with a destroyed future. With his friend Blaze the Cat, Silver is an optimist, but also a realist, who is hopeful for a better future. Now, I mention Silver because he's a very important example of what SEGA should do with their characters. What I'm saying is, give Silver his own game series. If you couldn't tell yet, Silver doesn't have that big of a fan base. In fact, he gets a lot of hate most of the time. Oh my god! I could have disagreed more! Why are people still acting like Silver doesn't get attention and love as before? And why are people still acting like Silver still got a lot of haters? Because Sonic 06 was rushed, he was forced to have slow gameplay, and not only that, but Sega handled his character in a way that he came off as annoying. He was too optimistic, not to mention that annoying voice. So, again with the whole, because the game was rushed, I'm blaming on Silver's horrible debut. With the gameplay, how slow he was, and was too optimistic? And annoying? And has an annoying voice? What the fuck? I have never heard a fan saying they don't like a voice of a character, or especially how his debut was. I mean, isn't that what it's usually getting you into liking a character in the first place? And I just so love how he's not saying why Silver is a good character, or why Silver is his favorite character. 
Instead, he just points out things he DOESN'T like about him in Sonic 06! So my question is... What made you like Silver in the first place? And what do you think of his other performance in the series? I mean, I know him and many other characters get barely attention in the games, but if he's your supposedly favorite character, can you please tell me what other things Silver's done that you like? I honestly don't think you saying the things you didn't like what Sega did to him in his first game is gonna convince him to use him more in the future. And unfortunately, the hypocrisy doesn't stop there. I happen to find another fan, or worse, even supposedly a silver fangirl on DA from this poster who was stating a similar opinion. But the thing is, it's even worse than the guy from YouTube. Because she just kept going on and on on how she finds silver Annoying! And fucking annoying! Among other things that some fans are complaining about Silver. And she's supposed to be a Silver Fangirl! Ha! Oh, please! Do not make me <laughs> laugh. Um, just so you guys won't think I'm only saying this because, um, I'm a silver fan of myself and I uh, <laughs> practically want to be the best one has ever gotten. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna read it for you so you can see what I'm coming from. So, this is basically another reading for me, so I hope you enjoy it, folks. Alright, I'm gonna start right now. I am personally a huge silver fan and there's a lot of things I love about the character, like his cuteness, his innocent naivety, is that even a word? and optimistic I have to save the world personality. I also really love how he's so sweet and saves others, but there are things that I HATE about his personality. Wait, what? Didn't you just establish the things you love about his character? And then the very next sentence, you change it into there are things you HATE about his personality? And I'm not saying you should view him as a perfect character, because no character is, nor should be, considered perfect and flawless. But, you contradict yourself big time if you use the word hate, when you just said uh, what you like about his personality, and if you're a huge fan of Silver. I hate his immature voice portrayed in Sonic 2006. To have a likable character, they have to be portrayed well. And to be honest, Sue was portrayed as annoying, whiny, but acting like he's all serious when he's around Sonic or Shadow. And this is where she starts to complain about how annoying Silver is. And by that, trust me, it's not just by his voice. So she's basically having the exact same opinion as the guy from YouTube. You know, with the whole, oh, I like Silver, but his debut wasn't the best, but I'm not gonna say what I actually do like about him. Or with her, it's like, I supposedly love him, but I can't stand the way he was in his debut for some reason. And apparently, thinks that it wasn't likable enough for, again, no reason. And also, how is Silver not being serious when he confronts Sonic or Shadow? He defeats Sonic with an ease, even if he plays him and defeats Silver. He still gets back on his feet and pushes him into the wall, and Sonic pretty much got defeated. Not to mention the two times he stopped Sonic from rescuing Elise. Again... How is that not a serious character when he shows himself to be threatening? Especially if he kept paralyzing Sonic with his powers! And with Shadow, he might have shown more of a competition to Silver, but it still doesn't take away that you can take him seriously. The best example of that is that scene that I hate with all my heart that I do not want to show you the whole thing. Just the part after a certain scene. Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have mercy on me. Again, Silver stood up. And more importantly, because of his not giving up attitude, and certainly not acting like a wimp when Shadow did kick him. I'm gonna so kill him for this. I can tell you for sure, he's a character you can't take seriously. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about, huge silver fangirl. 
What I hate is how Silver's insecure when being alone. His own reaction when Mephila said, I, I have the power to travel through time. Silver's being very immature and shouting, No, no way! way. Oh, yeah. I just find that really annoying. Silver's also very silly and gullible for believing a hedgehog with no mouth. Okay, you must get very easily annoyed if someone who just simply get amazed by something annoying. And I have seen people stating on why they don't like Silvers because of how easily tricked he was by Mephiles. I've even seen two memes saying the same thing. It's like they have forgotten that he was desperate to save his future, and not only did Mephiles take advantage of that, but he also made it clear that he's aware of Iblis as a whole. So technically, he didn't lie to Silver, he only misled them from the actual truth. And also, need I to remind the stupid fanbase that Knuckles has been tricked by the same person more than once? And I don't see people complain about that. But one game, and only time that Silver was tricked by, and could even question Mephiles at one point, is apparently an idiot, because, oh, Mephiles doesn't look believable, even though he makes it clear he knows what he's talking about. I find it silly when he says, if, if I, I eliminate, eliminate that guy, guy will our world, will be, our saved? world be saved? Silver, in my opinion, lacks critical thinking and believe anything people tell him without a question or finding out the information is actual. Especially coming from a hedgehog with snake eyes and no mouth. This girl sure does love to repeat herself, doesn't she? So let me get this straight. You're saying Silver lacks critical thinking and believes anything someone says, which happened in only one fucking game, as far as I know. But Blaze gets a pass for pretty much doing the same thing? All she did was just going along with it without questioning Mephiles either. At the very least, Silver kept asking Mephiles if what he said was the truth, and not just going along with it without second thought. On top of that, I hate how he was separated from Blaze. He was shouting, Blaze, Blaze! Like he couldn't be alone without her, as stated by Blaze herself. The silver is insecure, insecure while being alone. And I just find that a little annoying, especially from a hedgehog that's supposed to look cool and act all serious. Like Shadow when it's available. Okay, one word for this. Shallow! Seriously! Can you even call yourself a silver fangirl when you can't even accept his flaws? And it sure sounds like you prefer Shadow over Silver, since apparently he acts like just the way he looks. Basically, a cool badass character with no sensitivity whatsoever. And I'm not saying Shadow doesn't have flaws. But if you seriously want Silver to act more like him, just because he looks cool to you, then I would say you should rather like Shadow instead, since he obviously fits more to your standards. Silver is very mature, and when Shadow hit him, I hate that scene so much, you guys have no idea how much I hate it. Sorry, I'll go on. He shouted, you. As well as when Sonic said, Silver, I can handle this myself. Besides, Besides you have someone to go, go right? right? Silver shouted, you. you. Again, and I thought it was really annoying. I also really do not like how he acts all serious and tough in rivals. But behind the scenes, he acts immature. It's like she doesn't see the context of what Silver's doing, but focus more on how annoying he sounds like. I have never heard someone being this annoyed by how a character talks. And again, why is Silver's flaws bothering you this much if you're supposedly a huge fan of him? 
I don't play Sonic Rivals, so I don't know much what's going on in those games, or what he's doing in there. But either way, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because I will always, and I mean it, I will always love him just the way he is. And also, from the little I've seen in the game, he might act more quote-unquote immature or whatever, but honestly, I couldn't care less. It doesn't change my mind of how I see in Silver. In fact, it makes me want to be supportive of him, and that's what you should do as a fangirl, people. Not what this faker doing. Besides, I personally find it incredibly cute and adorable when Emma was trying to come off as tough and threatening, but fails because it's too cute to take him seriously. I'm not going to of course. <laughs> An example is when Silver couldn't find Espio, and he said, Espio, where'd you go? Well, fine, I'll meet you anyway. No, fine, I don't need you anyway. But if that was the case, I'm going to shout at Espio's name after that. I feel like a brat when he doesn't get his way. An example is in Sonic Rivals, where he shouts at anyone when he talks to Eggman for personal reasons, and he talking things out with them, and working together, and maybe they help Silver, if Silver was so self-fed and arrogant, to yell and say, get out of my way, I got personal business. Um, well, what can I say about this one? She clearly doesn't know Silver at all. If he's determined about something, you would know he wouldn't let anyone get in his way. Which would explain of his quote-unquote arrogant, quote-unquote brat, and quote-unquote selfish behavior. And Sonic and Silver didn't even know each other. So what makes you think he's just gonna be all like, Hey, let's cooperate someone I don't even know and just met? Again, I don't know much about the plot of Sonic Rivals series, but I know for sure however Silver's acting is not coming from the wrong place in his heart. And it really irks me of how she just doesn't get that and make him sound like a bad character. And again, this is from someone who's supposed to be a huge fan of him. And FYI, Silver was wondering where Espio went since Espio was spying him around regarding child disappearances. And I think it was also because he didn't know what he was up to. So him saying, fine, I don't need you anyway, is not making him sound arrogant, bratty, or whatever, as you claimed. Besides, that was also before they both decided to team up. And another thing, you're acting like Silver can't be cooperative. Uh, but um, once Espio believed what he said about protecting the child, Silver explained to him what was going on with the whole Eggman Nega wants to release Ifrit. Kind of like Mephiles releasing Ibis plot. Same thing can be said about saving Sonic and coming up with the idea of fixing the timeline to rescue Elise and Eggman from dying once he found the truth about Mephiles, thanks to Shadow. I find that very disrespectful, especially saying that to someone you didn't even meet. What the hell are you talking about? Am I missing something here, folks? He even annoyed Sonic when yelled at Sonic the first time saying, Get out of my way, caused a fight that annoyed Sonic again when Sue was trying to save the world, saying we need to talk to him first. And Sonic said to himself, Yo, Silver, you're starting to get on my nerves. And I agree 100% with Sonic! What? A fucking lovely fangirl we've got here. What a fucking lovely fangirl we've got here, folks. There is literally nothing else to be said about that. Moving on. So let me get this straight. You're saying Silver lacks critical thinking and believes anything someone says, which happened in only one fucking game. I also hate it how he even treated poor, poor Tails when Tails collected rings for Shadow and Rouge, and Silver just comes in and says, "Thanks, Hatman. I will take those now." And poor, poor Tails was sad because a bully stole his rings for no reason. <laughs> I'll get to why I think that's funny after I'm done reading this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we all make mistakes, but Silver didn't even have the nerve to at least apologize. Okay. This one is hilarious. <laughs> Not only is she making Silver once again look bad, and again, she's supposedly a huge fan of him. But she also seems...
seems to forget of that SBO was the one who came up with the idea of stealing rings from Sonic and Tails because Sue was exhausted and needed rings to recover his energy. And way to go make him sound even more of a bad character by saying, Oh, he's a bully for stealing a poor child's rings. Like he's still killing a baby or something. And let me tell you something, unlike Tails from Sonic Forces, he wasn't acting all wimpy and calling out to Sonic for help like some helpless baby. He was just showing that Sue was rings and demanding to return them. Silver needs to stop taking rings from innocent children. So, when was the other times he has done that exactly? I also hate how he thinks he's better than everyone, especially... When you play as him, he's always shouting, I'm better. And I find that really annoying because no one is better than the next person. In my honest opinion, he acts like the worst characters that has no manners. I'm a huge Silver fan, yet I just call them the worst character that has no manners! Seriously, you need to stop being so damn picky over the littlest things Silver says or does! And you're way overlooking into it! Since it's Sonic Rivals, I think it's a racing game. Meaning, the commentary Silver makes is because he's competitive, not because he's braggy. And besides, he was like that as well in Sonic Riders Zero Gravity and Free Riders when he says, I'm not gonna try but I don't see you complain about that. So why are you only complaining over one thing he says when you play as him? Not to mention that other characters in those games are saying the similar things because, oh, I don't know, it's a competition? Silver is sometimes like Shadow, but on his bad days, he's annoying and immature. I really hate how immature he also acts in the Archie comics as well. It can get very annoying. And she's not giving any example of that. That's just so lovely. So you could go so much in detail of how and why you find Silver annoying and immature in those other points, but not in this one? Is it because it's the Archie comics and you're not really catching up to the series or something? I mean, I don't know much about the Archie comics either, but if you're gonna mention they don't like Silver in the comics as well, might as well give me the detail. I mean, you already pissed me off as it is, but at least give me your reasons. Not that you wouldn't make any sense, but still. And to be completely honest, like I said about Amy Rose Rant, I don't think he's that much of a difference in the comics from the games. My conclusion is, if Silver acted serious in the outside, like he does look cool, but also act mature, then he will be very likable! Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you, seriously? Okay, guys. After reading her stupid points, can you honestly say this sounds like a silver fan to you? Or better yet, huge silver fan to you? You know, for fun, let's recap and see how many times she has been saying silver is immature, annoying, and how it could be a likable character, shall we? And she has also kept comparing Silver to Shadow because of, Oh, Silver doesn't like what he looks like. He looks so cool. Which he does. Why is he acting like what he looks like? Sounds to me that you prefer Shadow over him. So I don't know why you even bother calling yourself a huge Shadow fan instead. And again, you don't have to like everything about Silver. But it is really, really stupid of how you state yourself to be a huge fan of him when you're focusing so much on his quote-unquote flaws rather than the things you do like about him. And it doesn't help at all that all of the points you made is make you sound shallow, unfair, and way too picky. And one more thing. You offended me as a silver fangirl big time. Basically, if you're messing with him, you're messing with me. And you do not want to mess with me. Trust me on that. Okay, guys, I am finally done raging. And I'm so sorry if my fandom is a silver and I'm away from the objective or if I sound crazy or whatever. But at the same time, how can I not be defensive of my most favorite Sonic boy of all time? Especially if someone's being incredibly unfair with their reasoning of silver's flaws and claims to be a huge fan of him, which doesn't even acknowledge the good things he's done? I'm just in the best of the way! And I 
it might not be so many people saying this about Silver nowadays because he's not as hated as he used to be. But either way, it doesn't make it right to overall say you like a character and even say it's your favorite character or you're a huge fan of the character, yet sounding complete opposite when stating your opinion. Like, talk about contradiction right there. Anyways, that's all for me for now. I thank you guys for watching this. I really hope you like or liked it. See you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye!